Hello, welcome to the Arise platform. To get started with LLM performance tracing, we're first going to go into our generative LLM model. This is a search and retrieval model for debugging prompts and responses. This is a demo model and more can be found in the Arise documentation if you want to resend the data for this model. Once you click into that model, you're given information on performance over time, dashboards and monitors if you have them set up, and then you'll see a few key indicators of performance tracing. So that is accessible through the side here, through quick actions, and through the current status of our performance over time. So right now we're seeing an 82% accuracy. That's our current average accuracy, and we can change out that metric. But we are seeing a dip here in performance, and I'm curious to figure out why that's the case. So I'm gonna go into view performance tracing. The first thing we notice is going to be our performance over time. We can choose any data set, time range, even a version of that data set, the metric of choice, and we can add filters if we would like to. Now, you might see the table view here, which is going to have data on the prompt and responses, more on embeddings, slices, and charts later to come, as well as a full overview of our prop playground. In order to figure out what's going on here in our data set, we might want to zoom in on this one area. We could do that through the zoom in function, or we can go and highlight this underperforming region like so. Once I highlight that region, notice the performance, so our accuracy, goes from 80% to 50%. So that's in the low performing region. And if we go and look specifically into what is the cause of this low performance, we can look at the data, so the classes for positive and negative classes. We can look into our embeddings projector and slices. Let's start with slices for a breakdown of the data. Here we can look at individual features as well as metadata. So tags are going to be our metadata. So it looks like we are going to have mostly tags associated with this unstructured data or the embeddings. So let's go into our embedding projector since we are using unstructured data, we are using embeddings, and this is where we're going to want to dive in a little bit deeper. So I'm going to click the explore UMAP to get a full view of our UMAP. This is a UMAP projection, which is a dimensionality reduction technique designed to focus in on the areas of our data. So when you have your embeddings, you can cluster those embeddings, put them in a lower dimensional space, and then start to analyze those clusters as seen here. So this is a three-dimensional view. You can change out some parameters for this model, but we're gonna keep it in a cluster format. Uh, we can also call, color by data set, by cluster, prediction label, correctness, uh, particular metadata features. But we'll just keep it as the current breakdown. So we have cluster one and cluster two. So cluster two is, and essentially these clusters are formed because of how close the data is. And we're seeing cluster two is the majority of the data. So there's this random cluster that if I zoom into it is kind of out far from the rest of the data. So there's a main difference in the data between our large cluster and this smaller cluster that's been found from doing that dimensionality reduction technique. If we look at the breakdown, we can see 100% of that data is in production and 0% in corpus. Our corpus is essentially the baseline or training data used. So if we're only seeing information in production, that means the LLM is having a hard time creating a response to that prompt. And now let's figure out why. So I'm gonna click on that first cluster again. I'm gonna look deeper into the data points. And I'm gonna see we're given prediction labels and actual labels, there is a discrepancy here. I can see we're predicting uh, positive and we're getting a negative label. So let's dive into one of these uh, in particular. It looks like most of them are mislabeled. So I think we can kind of choose any of these options. If I choose this one example, we have the prompt what would a rise cost annually and what is the likely ROI, assuming a high ROI? The response is unfortunately without more information, blah, blah, blah. So we're seeing that you weren't able to answer the question. So a positive label is that the question was answered. A negative label or negative actual label is that the question wasn't answered. 
We have separate videos on the prompt playground, which we can touch more on if you click on additional training videos. But to wrap up this demo on LLM tracing, we want to be able to look and figure out exactly why this problem is happening. And we're seeing unfortunately, unfortunately, and I'm guessing incorrect answers. So you want to be able to, you can download these data points and add additional context through a search and retrieval method. You can add additional documentation that you can use to look up better responses uh, to the generated prompts.